Hi, this is Manos Berlakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute. It is a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Carl Alasvan, who is the director of the Cardiac Art Lab at Henry Ford Hospital. He is an expert CTO operator and will present case 57 for the second edition of Manual of CTO Interventions. Carl. Hi, hello everybody. Um, I have the honor of presenting uh, this case. This is 70 years old male with a Canadian Cardiovascular Society, class three angina, despite treatment with maximum tolerated uh, anti-angina medications. Those uh, medications are all long acting, not sublingual. Uh, the patient also have uh, congestive heart failure. The ejection fraction was mildly reduced, 42%. Hypertension, hyperlipidemia, uh, possible a stroke in the past. We were not sure about that. And he has a completely viable RCA territory by uh, uh, PET scan. This is uh, the baseline angiogram. The RCA uh, is uh, dominant. Uh, we don't see the distal circulation because that's single injection during the diagnostic. The proximal cap probably will define in here. There are a lot of marginal branches. <clears throat> the only collaterals to the RCA were actually coming from the LED. Unfortunately, the LED was chronically occluded and the flow to the LED was provided uh, via a lima. So um, that made it a little bit more difficult because if we need to uh, use retrograde, we will have to use a retrograde um, uh, through a lima. The other unfortunate thing that the distal cap was at a bifurcation of two major vessels, uh, the PDA and posterolateral branches, they are both large vessels, so there was not much landing zone for integrated section re-entry. Integrated section re-entry in the PDA, we might risk losing the posterolateral branch and vice versa. So um, we tried to uh, use the collaterals distal to the Lima touchdown in the LED, and after multiple attempts with wire surfing, we could not connect, so we actually uh, uh, did a tip injection uh, to uh, understand the, the failure mode, and we discovered that this uh, collateral is not even connecting to the um, to the LED uh, to the PDA. Sorry. So another picture examining the collaterals. The most of the collaterals connecting to the PDA from the LED are actually proximal to the touchdown of the lima. Uh, we use the a caravel catheter. We wire retrograde uh, easily, and the wire. Uh, kept going into the first septal encounters when it went retrograde. We tried and also could not connect that easy. There was a very fine connection and very tortuous, you can see it, but the wire would not go. We changed the septal and we did a tip injection and we found actually a better a connection and, a, and a, a little bit straighter connection than the previous one. This is a real time uh, crossing uh, you need to examine uh, your Lima guide all the time. If you have a, a, a guide catheter in the left anterior mammary artery, you always have to watch it with any wire movement. And then better if you disengage it, the whole procedure once you achieve what you need to achieve. And this is actually using a Xi'an wire and a, a Caraval catheter because of the significant tortuosity and retrograde. I did not have much control over the wire and I literally had to push the wire without even uh, twirling the wire in either direction. <clears throat> we were able to get the microcatheter all the way to the PDA. Uh, an another problem we faced in here, we could not puncture the distal cap uh, with uh, multiple uh, wires. We escalated to Gaia third um, and we could not puncture, although the distal cap was well marcated and you can find it, but it was really hard with the lack of wire control uh, made it a lot more difficult to puncture the distal cap. So um, what we decided to do, we decided to start the knuckle anti-grade. The knuckle actually would not stir, start that easy. We had to do a power knuckle and I push the knuckle all the way um, down to uh, the distal circulation. I used um, a fighter wire to knuckle. The fighter wire uh, knuckle went uh, over the posterior lateral branch and now uh, what I did, I uh, advanced the retrograde wire from the PDA to the posterolateral branch and advanced the catheter and I decided to use a 3.5 millimeter balloon to crush the distal cap from the outside. And um, basically that's what happened. We were able to uh, crush the cap. Um, it was so easy now to pull the microcatheter back, pull the wire from the posterolateral branch 
into uh, the uh, distal uh, RCA retrograde and basically here we are uh, wiring the guide the integrated guide retrogradely um, because um, <clears throat> because we had a, a very difficult time uh, manipulating the retrograde gear um, we decided to uh, basically uh, wire the integrated uh, posterior lateral branch and then uh, use um, uh, the retrograde wire for a tip in later. So here, this is a guide liner in the distal RCA and we wiring the, the posterior lateral branch. So uh, we changed uh, everything after the tip in, we changed to the anti-grade, um, the PDA, uh, the retrograde wire was removed and before we removed the gear completely from the Lima, we took a picture to make sure there is no Lima dissection and now we obtained uh, anti-grade wiring in the PDA and in the posterior lateral branch and basically the rest of the procedure as a usual um, integrate technique with a guide liner helping us uh, through the tortuosity of the RCA to deliver stents and through the calcification and these are the final uh, pictures. Thank you.